Hello lovelies, today I'm going to be sharing with you a tour of my creative writing traveler's notebook. In here, these are inserts that I have been using and have been spread out throughout my various covers. And as I mentioned before, my covers are always changing, but the insert groups are always the same. So this time I have a brand new cover, which is this beautiful black one. And I'll insert a little clip of me unboxing this. I decided not to do a full video because you've seen me unbox a bunch of TNs. So for this creative writing traveler's notebook, I was really inspired when I was writing to a friend and I accidentally gave her a full history of my stationary endeavors and I realized how much I missed writing. I used to keep a ton of notebooks as a child full of short stories and I even wrote a novel when I was in high school. I also went off to college being a communications major, so I've been writing for a very long time. Even as a career, I worked for a long time in marketing and I did a lot of copywriting, which isn't as glamorous as writing novels, but it was actually very fun and I still do it to this day. It is a passion of mine. I really love to play with words creative writing is still something that I truly enjoy. I wanted a place where I can continue working on this skill in a way that's super fun for me. For this black cover, I was very surprised at how soft this cover is. I was afraid that it would be that plasticky cover that a lot of people tell me about, which I really didn't want, but luckily I ended up with that soft it almost feels like the brown cover. It's a little softer than the brown, honestly, and the leather is very flexible, which is really nice. And I really love the inside. It feels so, so soft, like suede. It's really beautiful. Moving on inside, I have the B-Sides and Rarities zipper pouch. I don't have anything inside, but I wanted to have something to protect the front cover of my first insert only because I know this is black and I'm pretty sure it's going to stain it. So this first insert is my collaging and a little burn book where I write down any negative or angry feelings. Um, on this cover is the collaging that my friend Kareen did. I'll link her Instagram below. And this insert is that BK mixed paper insert from my last video. I haven't collaged much inside because I just got this and I was still trying to figure out how I want to use this. I didn't love the matte paper, I'm gonna be honest, only because it didn't match any of my stationery that I own. It's very bright and I just have more muted tones in my stationery and ephemera collection. So I kind of Frankenstein this insert and removed all the maps and replaced it with white Midori paper. In this zipper pouch, I don't have anything in it, but I'm pretty sure this is going to be filled with those PET tape scraps. This second insert is my daily journal. I haven't really shared much about this, just a generic Dear Diary type of deal, and I write in this insert once a week. I really wanted this insert to be a little different. I wanted to practice my creative writing and write my days as a story. I want to practice my storytelling and I don't want to lose that creative non-fiction writing style that I had. Um, and I'm just really excited to romanticize my life and write it as if it was novel worthy. Just because to us we're doing the most mundane things, it is surprising how a lot of people, for example, are, are impressed that I live by the ocean and to me it's like, oh, whatever. But it really isn't. I just lived here all my life and this is all I know. I want to take this as an opportunity to be grateful of my 
blessings, grateful of every piece of my life. And I feel like writing it as a story will help me appreciate it. And it will also be nicer to look back and read. This last insert is going to hold all my finished pieces. Like I mentioned, in college, I wrote a lot of pieces, uh, specifically poetry and short stories because I took a ton of creative writing courses. So I have a nice portfolio of pieces that I've done. And I would like to have all of them in one place versus just files on my computer. I feel like it would be nice to have and just flip through and share with my son. He is also a little storyteller, so I feel like he will really appreciate this when he is older. So I am working on transferring those pieces and will be adding some new ones as well. So I'm really excited for this little insert group. Um, it is a passion of mine and I feel like this is going to be a very fun creative outlet for me. Let me know down below, um, do you guys romanticize your life? Do you write? in your diaries or journals as if it were a chapter in a novel, a story instead of just facts. Also, if you like content like this, please consider subscribing down below and hitting that like button. It lets me know what type of content you like so I can keep making them for you. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this little setup that I have. Thanks for watching. I will see you in the next one.